Do you ever feel like you're racing against the clock? Many people struggle with managing their time effectively. With the right strategies, you can take control of your time. The first step to effective time management is understanding where your time is going. Are you spending hours scrolling through social media? Do you get bogged down by unimportant tasks? Once you have a clear picture of your current time allocation, you can start making changes. One of the most powerful tools in your time management arsenal is planning. By taking the time to plan your day, you gain clarity on what needs to be done and can allocate your time accordingly. This simple act of planning can significantly reduce stress and increase productivity. Remember, failing to plan is planning to fail. When you don't have a plan, you're more likely to get sidetracked and waste time on less important activities. A well-structured plan keeps you focused and ensures that you're making progress towards your goals. In the upcoming sections, we'll delve into specific time management techniques that can help you plan effectively and maximize your productivity. We'll explore techniques like Eat That Frog, Time Blocking, and the Pomodoro Technique, all designed to help you work smarter, not harder. Planning is the cornerstone of effective time management. It's like having a roadmap that guides you through your day, ensuring you reach your destination on time and without unnecessary detours. But how do you create a plan that works for you? Start by identifying your most important tasks, MITs. These are the tasks that will have the biggest impact on your goals. Once you've identified your MITs, schedule them into your day, ideally during your peak productivity hours. Next, break down larger tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. This makes daunting tasks seem less overwhelming and allows you to track your progress more effectively. Remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Finally, don't forget to schedule in time for breaks and unexpected events. Life is unpredictable and things don't always go according to plan. By factoring in some buffer time, you can stay flexible and avoid feeling overwhelmed when unexpected situations arise. Let's talk about frogs, not the slimy amphibious kind but the metaphorical ones that represent our most challenging tasks. You know those tasks we tend to procrastinate on, the ones we push to the bottom of our to-do lists, that's where the eat that frog technique comes in. This technique, coined by yours truly, Brian Tracy, emphasizes tackling your most challenging task first thing in the morning. Why? Because by getting that dreaded task out of the way, you free up mental energy and build momentum for the rest of the day. Think of it this way. If you had to eat a live frog every day, wouldn't you want to get it over with first thing in the morning? The same principle applies to your work. By eating your frog early on, you eliminate the anxiety associated with procrastination and set a positive tone for the day. Now I understand that tackling a difficult task first thing in the morning might seem daunting, but trust me, the sense of accomplishment you'll feel afterward is well worth the initial effort. Plus, it will prevent the task from looming over you throughout the day. Section 5. Time Blocking, Divide and Conquer Your Day Time blocking is another powerful time management technique that involves dividing your day into distinct blocks of time, each dedicated to a specific task or activity. It's like creating a personalized schedule for your day, ensuring that you allocate sufficient time to everything that matters. To implement time blocking, start by identifying all the tasks you need to accomplish in a day. Then, estimate how long each task will take and assign specific time slots for them on your calendar. Be realistic with your time estimates and factor in short breaks between tasks to avoid burnout. One of the key benefits of time blocking is that it eliminates decision fatigue. When you have a predetermined schedule, you no longer waste time deciding what to work on next. This allows you to move seamlessly from one task to another, maximizing your productivity throughout the day. Moreover, time blocking helps you identify and eliminate time-wasting activities. By tracking how you spend your time, you become more aware of your habits and can identify areas where you might be losing precious minutes. Section 6. The Pomodoro Technique. Bite-sized productivity. Sometimes the thought of tackling a large task can be overwhelming, leading to procrastination and reduced productivity. The Pomodoro Technique offers a solution by breaking down work into manageable intervals, traditionally 25 minutes in length, separated by short breaks. Here's how it works. Choose a task you want to work on, set a timer for 25 minutes, and focus solely on that task until the timer goes off. Once the timer rings, take a short 5-minute break. Repeat this cycle 4 times, then take a longer break of 15, 20 minutes. The Pomodoro Technique is particularly effective for those who struggle with maintaining focus for extended periods. The short bursts of focused work, interspersed with regular breaks, help to maintain concentration and prevent mental fatigue. Moreover, the Pomodoro Technique can be easily adapted to suit your individual needs and preferences. 
you can adjust the work and break intervals to find what works best for you. Some people prefer longer work intervals, while others find that shorter bursts are more effective. Section 7. Batching Similar Tasks for Efficiency Have you ever noticed how much time you waste switching between different tasks throughout the day? Context switching, as it's called, can be a major productivity killer. That's where task batching comes in. Task batching involves grouping similar tasks together and tackling them in one go. For example, instead of checking your email sporadically throughout the day, dedicate specific time slots to process your inbox all at once. By batching similar tasks, you minimize distractions and allow your brain to enter a flow state, leading to increased efficiency and productivity. This is because your brain doesn't have to constantly switch gears and adjust to new tasks. Moreover, task batching can help you reduce procrastination. When you have a dedicated block of time for a specific type of task, you're less likely to put it off. This is because you've already mentally prepared yourself to tackle those tasks during that specific time frame. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in a whirlwind of distractions. From social media notifications to endless emails, time wasters lurk around every corner, vying for our attention. Learning to say no to these distractions is crucial for effective time management. Start by identifying your biggest time wasters. Are you constantly checking your phone? Do you get sidetracked by social media? Once you've identified your weaknesses, take steps to minimize their impact on your day. Consider using website blockers or app limits to reduce your exposure to distracting websites and apps. Set specific times for checking emails and social media, and avoid multitasking, as it can actually decrease your productivity. Remember your time is valuable, and you have the right to protect it. Don't be afraid to say no to requests or activities that don't align with your priorities or contribute to your goals. Learning to set boundaries is essential for creating more time for the things that truly matter. The two-minute rule, popularized by productivity guru David Allen, is a simple yet effective technique for tackling small tasks immediately, preventing them from piling up and becoming overwhelming later. The rule is simple. If a task takes less than two minutes to complete, do it now. This could be anything from replying to a quick email to putting away a few dishes. By addressing these small tasks immediately, you prevent them from cluttering your mind and your to-do list. While it might seem counterintuitive to interrupt your workflow for a two-minute task, the reality is that these small tasks can quickly accumulate and create a sense of overwhelm. By addressing them promptly, you maintain a sense of control over your workload and prevent them from snowballing into larger problems. Moreover, completing small tasks can provide a sense of accomplishment and momentum, motivating you to tackle larger, more challenging tasks. So, the next time you're faced with a task that can be completed in two minutes or less, don't put it off, just do it. Time management is not a one-size-fits-all endeavor. What works for one person might not work for another. That's why it's crucial to regularly review and reflect on your time management strategies to identify what's working and what needs adjustment. Set aside some time each week or month to review your schedule, your to-do list, and your overall productivity. Ask yourself, what went well? What could have been better? Were there any recurring time wasters that you need to address? Based on your reflections, make adjustments to your schedule, your techniques, or your overall approach to time management. Remember time management is a journey, not a destination. It's about continuous improvement and finding what works best for you. Don't be afraid to experiment with different techniques and strategies until you find a system that aligns with your work style and helps you achieve your goals. The key is to be consistent with your efforts and to remain open to making adjustments along the way. Congratulations, you've now been equipped with a powerful toolkit of time management techniques that can help you take control of your time, boost your productivity, and achieve your goals. Remember, effective time management is not about cramming more into your day, but about making conscious choices about how you spend your precious time. Start by implementing one or two techniques that resonate with you and gradually incorporate others as you become more comfortable. Don't try to overhaul your entire system overnight as this can lead to overwhelm and frustration. Remember, time management is a skill that takes time and practice to develop. Be patient with yourself, celebrate your successes, and learn from your setbacks. And if you found this information helpful, don't forget to like this post and subscribe to the channel for more productivity tips. Now, go forth and conquer your time.